today we have a knife and it looks amazing it's actually beautiful amazing okay it works fine this is not a problem at all so cutting a soft skin was a challenge Kaishun DM5900 it's supposed to be a gentleman steak knife. Why gentleman? Well, we'll see why. So I've already opened this package, but it came exactly like this in a transport package. I opened it up. I saw inside this sheath. I was so excited. Like I'm a fan of this company, but I was so excited. I took the sheath. I took it into my hand. I opened it. I was terrified because it was empty. It was empty. So the first thought was, that I got sent an empty pocket, you know, an empty sheath. But of course, that's not the thing. The knife is inside of this package, packed separately. So let's discuss it. The look is awesome, guys. The look is gorgeous. It's elegant. It's exactly what it tells. It's a very elegant thing. It's actually beautiful. This pack of wood is a little bit glossy, so it will show some fingerprints, but nothing too terrible. It's okay. The construction of this knife is good. It feels strong enough. The joints are well made and they feel like a nice Swiss watch. Nothing moves. Of course, it's a new knife. We'll see what happens to it. It feels premium. This is how this mechanism works. You turn the blade and this is how it works. If you want to close it, you pull it down and you close the blade. So the mechanism seems to be working really fine. It holds together nicely. It feels nice. Everything feels in place. The construction is high quality for sure. It's a very good product. One thing to consider, this is not a box knife. So if you need to use this thing as your pocket knife for cutting boxes, probably won't work. For one thing, it's actually an expensive knife. For the other, however, the construction is strong. I don't believe it was made to be something like a utility knife to work with. This knife is for kitchen. This knife is for food, primarily. So although it will cut some boxes, I don't think it's a good idea to do it. Another thing, guys, of course, this is not a survival knife, neither. So don't think about taking this thing to a wilderness, you know, and work with it in a forest. So it's not a hunting knife, nothing like that. It will break quite easily, I can assure you. It is a very elegant knife, and it's not a box knife, not a survival knife. So for those purposes, it will not work. Weight and ergonomics. Now, this thing shines. The weight and ergonomics are amazing. My hands are actually small, my hands aren't big, so this is how it looks. It's light, it's really light and very easy to hold in your hands. You open it up quite easily, the folding mechanism is amazing. And you cut your steak or whatever that may be, some type of food. You may hold it in your pocket like this, no problems. You may use a sheath as well, it's up to you. The sheath looks leather. It looks like leather. I think it is. If you put this knife into your front pocket, I can assure that nobody will feel it in the pocket. So you may hold it anywhere. It feels good, light and easy. This knife, DM5900, has actually a younger brother. You can see it on the screen right now. So DM5700, I was thinking about buying this one because, you no, know, it actually looks more aggressive. I did like the look more. However, two reasons why I didn't buy it. One, okay, one reason why I wanted to buy it is much cheaper, it's $30, as opposed to 100 of this one, $95.99. But the DM5700, it's made in China, not in Japan like this one, and the steel type. The steel type is cheap, basically. It's a cheap general steel that's used in knives that are not actually expensive. So steel is used in 5700. I don't actually remember, guys, the name. I did research it and it's not expensive one. And I viewed some reviews, you know, it didn't cut well, basically. So, of course, of course, I bought this one, which is the VG10 steel. The gold standard in kitchen industry, the VG10 steel. 
amazing knife. Of course it costed premium, but still, I bought this one because of the steel type that it uses. Before my final conclusion, of course, of course we have to do some cut tests. And I have to tell you guys, this cut test will be performed for the first time, because I never cut anything with this knife, and it's brand new. So let's get to it. What do we have today? Today we have a kiwi. We have an onion and we have some bread. Let's start with onion, shall we? A regular task that anyone may perform and that I will perform in the office because the reason I bought this one, I want to use this knife in my office because I'm used to good cutlery and the cutlery that my company provides to me is basically a crap. So I bought this one. Let's perform some basic tasks. Okay, works fine. Let's clean this onion. I'm not a professional cook, but still, I can cut some stuff. Let's try to do it, okay. Amazing. Cuts nicely. It cuts good. It's quite sharp, so... I have to be really careful and cut myself next time. It is a sharp knife. Okay, so onion is perfect. Let's try kiwi. Let's, for example, imagine I want to clean it. Okay, it works fine. Cuts good, guys. But I have to admit, the previous Kai Shun knife that I used on this channel, and you may see the review of it on your screen right now. So the previous one I used, well, it used a very similar steel, the VG Max, but that one was sharper. That one was sharper. This one is good, but it's not as sharp. It's not like a razor. No, it's good. It just doesn't feel like a razor. One thing we forgot is paper. Let's do it. This is a plain paper. Let's try to cut it. Cuts well. Not flawless though. Cuts well. You can see it's not perfect, right? This one is. So it depends how you do it. Personally, what I think, I think it could be better. Cuts well. Cuts like VG10. I think I will be able to sharpen it much better. The edge on this one is not extreme. It's just good enough for steak. I think that my set of Japanese stones, I will be able to make it razor. But out of the box, I'd say three, maybe four out of five. Not perfect. With some decent sharpening, with some decent edging, it will be good. And the last test that we have today is bread. For sure, I will need this. I will need to cut some bread. 100% sure, because this is one of the reasons why I bought it. So let's cut it. Wow, this is not a problem at all. Cuts well. No problem. No problem whatsoever. This was the easiest one. I'd say, actually, guys, the most difficult one was kiwi. Because this kiwi is soft, so cutting a soft skin was a challenge. But apart from that, everything else was fine. Of course, the paper was not perfect, but still, the edge is not extreme. So. The original footage has been shot like six years ago, and sorry for the sound quality. Right now, it's much better. And the knife itself has been six years, but you know, nothing really changed. It's just as good, just as nice. I use it as an office knife. So I don't really use it heavily, I don't use it much, but there is one thing worth mentioning. There are a lot of moving parts here, a lot of crevices, and if the dirt gets inside, it's kind of difficult to, to wash it, you know, and uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Use it lightly. You can get it dirty, you can clean it, but that's a hassle, so that's one thing to mention. Apart from that, six years in, haven't sharpened it even once because I don't use it very often. I mostly use it for meat, for steaks, and uh, yeah, 
The knife is amazing. In the office, everybody's asking what it is. Please can I take a look and it's a really nice thing. And yeah, you can use office cutlery, right? You can use something like this. This this thing is like for enjoyment mostly, right? It's not a utility, heavy duty thing to use, to have in your pocket. This is for elegance and for pure joy. And for those two things, it, it works perfectly well. So guys, this is a real world test of Kai 5900. General feeling, a very elegant knife I will use in my office. But for 100%, I'm sure that people will take a look at it. They will ask me what it is. They will be amazed by the look of it because it's a very elegant and beautiful thing to have. Expensive, of course, but if you can afford it, it's definitely a good thing to have. Stay in touch, guys.